Yo, what is going on guys? Flash Flashverse here and welcome back to another video on the Flash movie and during DC Fandom we got a brand new teaser trailer for the Flash 2022 Flashpoint movie so yeah this will be my trailer breakdown for this short teaser I did do a live reaction to the trailer when they were revealing in the panel and I did upload that reaction as a separate video as well so if you guys are interested in seeing my reaction for this teaser trailer it will be linked in the description down below but for this video I'll be going over things you guys may have missed while watching the trailer and I'll show you guys my own theories as well but before I go over anything, however, you guys don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel so you are aware of more videos about the Flash movie coming your way. Okay, so this trailer kicks off with this establishing shot of the gargoyles of Wayne Manor and this is the exact same Wayne Manor that is used for the Batman 1989 movies, that being Michael Keaton's Batman, which obviously means that we are paying a visit to Michael Keaton's Batman. We do know that he is in this film, and we do see two people walking out of the taxi that drives into Wayne Manor and this is actually two different versions of Barry Allen. One of them is our Barry Allen which we will be following during the film and seemingly the other Barry Allen will be from Earth Michael Keaton so I'm just gonna say Earth 89 because that would be a really cool easter egg if they do do that. But saying that we are seeing two Barry Allens, this obviously means that Flashpoint has already happened. We are in Flashpoint right now so at this point, Barry Allen has already traveled back in time and saved his mother from dying. So we are in Flashpoint. Now the question is, why are we paying a visit to Bruce Wayne, especially Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne? So the theory I have in regards to this is that when Barry caused Flashpoint, this obviously caused a huge toll on the multiverse. When in the comics, in the original comics, it would have been just the timeline that he lives in and same for like the Flash CW show as well. That only affected that one timeline but for this movie we know that it's related to the multiverse. Um, for this movie I'm guessing that Barry like messed up, messed up the multiverse to a point where he just messes up reality completely and maybe he doesn't remember how he created Flashpoint which is actually something that does happen in the comics. Like the longer Barry stays in Flashpoint the more of his memories he loses. So he may have forgotten how he created Flashpoint at this point, so this would result him into turning to someone who he knows can help, that being Ben Affleck's Batman. And then Ben Affleck's Batman, however, because of what happened during Flashpoint, is gone. He's not there anymore, and his Wayne Manor is gone as well, and instead we end up getting Keaton's Batman. So we will have these, you know, bigger problems being stacked on top of each other. We do then get this ominous shot of Wayne Manor and it seems like it's abandoned just judging from the sheets covering the like the furniture around and also we do go to the Batcave and we do see like the lever all webbed up so it seems like Batman hasn't been there for a while and this could be once again due to what Barry has done or it could be related to something else maybe Bruce was just you know too lazy to clean everything up I don't know but we do also towards the end of the trailer get the long haired Barry Allen lift the sheets off the Batmobile so clearly Batman hasn't been in the Batcave for a while he hasn't used any of this stuff so this movie is essentially gonna be like Batman coming out to retirement or something like that at least I'm not entirely sure now we do then cut to Barry time traveling to the night Nora Allen is murdered and this is obviously how he ends up saving his mother from dying he goes back in time and stops the reverse flash from killing his mother whether we will get Reverse Flash in this movie is a whole new question. I think they're going to do something else, but it would be pretty disappointing if they do do that because you cannot have Flashpoint without the Reverse Flash. That's literally impossible. At least for like the sequel movie for this film, we're going to have to have the Reverse Flash. He's going to have to be there at some point. But we do see him time travel, as I said, to the night that Nora Allen's murdered, and obviously this is where he's going to save his mother. But as we see him walk towards the house, there's a lot that's new. Firstly, we do have this really cool looking new Flash suit, which will be the one that Ben Affleck's Batman gives him. But the suit looks so cool. We do obviously see the gold boots, which is the first thing we see as Barry runs. But also we do see these like, you know, speed force energy beams traveling around his suit. And I find that really cool. It just looks really cool, especially when Barry is running. I cannot wait to see that. Obviously, one thing that seems to be retconned is that his lightning color seems to be orange now instead of the Snyder vs. blue color, which personally for me is for the better. I do like the orange color a lot more than the blue one. 
The VFX animation for the running seems the same though, where obviously for Ezra Miller's Flash, the lightning splits everywhere or spits everywhere, but for Grant Gustin's Flash, for example, for the CW's Flash, his lightning trail follows after him, which is still the one that I prefer, but as I said, we didn't really get that many shots of this version of the Flash running in this Flash film. If not, we didn't get anything of him running, we just got that small section of him running into the night Nora Allen got murdered. But I'm not going to judge just yet, I want to wait to see the final product and see how his running style or like how the VFX animation looks with the orange lightning. But after Barry does the deed and does Flashpoint, we do see the shot of Barry entering his house, only to find Nora Allen cooking lunch or dinner. And she does get scared as Barry touches her and we see her turn around but she looks freaked out. This is probably after Barry goes back to present day once he does Flashpoint and he wonders who this person in his house is and he obviously taps on that person only to find out that Nora Allen's alive, his mother is alive and after a while he's gonna forget how he creates Flashpoint, that's what I'm guessing is going to happen. Now something that is very interesting is this shot over here where we have Michael Keaton's Batman outfit being stained with blood in the bathroom of Wayne Manor. It will be very interesting to see what's going on over here. Is it that the two Barry Allens find Batman's outfit laying on the ground and they're wondering what happened to Bruce Wayne and we get this like you know mystery being established in regards to what happened to Bruce Wayne. That would be pretty cool to see. But this Batman could also be you know going through a rough fight with the villains and um, this is just him patching himself up. Obviously this is a much older version of Batman so yeah he's gonna struggle more going going up against these you know stronger villains than he would before as like prime batman for example it does seem like this is the suit that the long-haired barry will be using to actually spray paint and um, he will be using that you know batman flash suit which we had released as a teaser by andy machietti who is obviously the director for this film now my theory about this long-haired Barry Allen is that he's going to end up being the main villain for this film, where this is an evil doppelganger of The Flash. Whether he doesn't want Barry to fix what's going on, or something along those lines, I'm guessing that he will be the villain of this film in some way, shape, or form. But another scene that is very interesting is this shot over here where we have Barry exploring this like, you know, government facility. Seemingly it could be Cadmus, or it could be like what happens in the Flashpoint comics, with Superman but instead it will be explored with Supergirl where Supergirl will be experimented on by like you know government officials and as a result she will grow up being vulnerable because she's exposed to like red sun and things like that but we do have the flash looking at one of the test subjects and that's obviously going to be Sasha Kelly's Supergirl he's in this room with like a bunch of different test subjects and he's going to find Sasha Kelly's Supergirl over there with the help of Michael Keaton's Batman um, Although I do like the suit of the Flash suit, I really don't like how the helmet looks. It looks too big on Ezra Miller, so hopefully they do fix that if anything. But so far from what I'm seeing at least, it's not looking that good. Maybe in different angles it might end up looking better. I'm not entirely sure. Now we do then see Sasha Kelly's Supergirl again where we do have long haired Barry or Earth Keaton Barry covering Supergirl with a blanket as she is resting. You know, they're just trying to like, you know, comfort her and um, make her feel you know better than she was in that you know government facility where she was obviously being tested on we do also get our first look at the flash ring and obviously over here this is where we will see the flash suit shoot out and i cannot wait to see how that will look in the films and um, that's obviously how barry will be wearing the suit as well and we do also see long hair Flash painting the Batman suit into that Batman Flash suit which we saw as a teaser. So I am really interested to see what happened, what like you know what's going on with this, what happened to his original suit that he ends up making this Flash Batman suit. Is his suit destroyed which is why he uses like Batman's suit to make a new one or is there like another particular reason too? I'm very interested to see what is going on over here. We do also get the shot of Michael Keaton's Batman in the Batcave and I'm assuming that this is towards the end of the movie or something along those lines at least. But we do also have the team assembling where we do have Michael Keaton's Earth Flash, Sasha Kelly's Supergirl and our Barry Allen teaming up together. I'm interested to see who exactly they're fighting off against but yeah, as I said I wouldn't be too surprised if the long haired Barry Allen in some way ends up being the main villain for the movie. But the trailer ends with this weird CGI shot of the Flash suit. It does look cool, 
but it looks like a video game cinematic. But again, they are still in post-production, so it will definitely look better when they're actually finished. Now, there are also some cool lines which we do hear Michael Keaton's Batman saying, such as, tell me something, you can go anywhere you want, any timeline, any universe. And then he ends up saying, why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? So I do find that really interesting. Um, you know, it, it, it seems like Ezra Miller's Flash like has forgotten that he was the one who's created Flashpoint. If it looks like, you know, whatever's going on over here is just total chaos. And Barry's just like, okay, no, I'm going to save this one. Bearing in mind, Michael Keaton's Batman did say you can travel to any timeline and any universe. So will we be getting some multiverse hopping over here? That would be pretty interesting, but I'm not entirely sure. But also we do hear Michael Keaton's Batman saying you change the future and you change the past. Obviously implying Flashpoint over there. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the teaser trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. If you guys did enjoy the breakdown, please do not forget to drop a like on the video or subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.